next uh, okay so let's talk about st strong signing any assembly okay what does that mean so there is a page on the web which I just found and I think that's good enough at least for the diagrams so what does it mean you know what, what is this signing all about what does it mean to sign right so let's think of a very simple case that you have a file you have a DLL file you have an assembly and you want to sign it what it means is it hashes the contents of a file and it produces a hash value you know what that for this file this is the value okay this is what it does now what it means is that it will once it produces this hash value it will sign it with its key so uh, uh, it my you know dot will use this we will use the typical uh, you know encryption mechanism where there's, where there's a public the public and private key mechanism what it does is it takes this DLL uses a standard algorithm for it and creates a hash value for this DLL and signs it with its public key with its private key so a company will create a DLL it will get a hash value of the DLL by using some algorithm standard algorithm and it will hash it using its pr private key the private key only it has and it will embed its public key in that particular DLL right and now it ships this DLL to you what hap What do you do is you take this DLL you use the same standard algorithm and you find out its hash value of that file now you take the public key that the company has already embedded in the DLL you decrypt the hash value so it has it it calculated its hash value initially and it had signed it with its private key so with that private key only this public key will work right so that's how they go hand in hand you what you will do is you will take this you will take the DLL at your end you will once again create the hash find out its value then you get the hash content the hash content which is already part of the DLL which is part you know which is part of the DLL manifest you unsign it you unlock it using the public key information that is already there and you compare these hash values if they are the same it means the DLL has not been tampered with and it's the same so what it means is that the private key information never goes out okay the private key is just used when it is signing the DLL the company is signing the DLL it will use the private key and it will sign the contents and it will the public key is feel freely distributable is there any harm in it no not at all because that is you know that's how all encryption mechanisms work that it will hash it will you know sign the hash value with its private key and it can be only opened by its only by by, by, the, by the public key that is by that it distributes that's how it works right so that's what it is so if you look about it that let's say there's a text file it's a public key you know i don't know what it means but you get the idea right so what here's what dot net does right the D, a hash value is created from the assembly the hash value is encrypted so this is the hash value you know this is a standard SHA algorithm it is free it is available creates an hash it will encrypt with its private key and place along with the so it will create the hash encrypt it with the private key and it will now place the public its public key and the hash inside the DLL as an you know at the manifest right now what the CLR does is it will take the signature and that's the digital signature of the DLL you know that's how it's called it will take the it will take the digital signature and the public key you know it will extract the public key and it will you know unsign you know unlock it and get the hash value it will also compute the hash value because of the standard logic and it will see if it is the same if the same it means the DLL has not been tampered with so that is what it means right if in case if I make any changes to the DLL you know let's say there's a rogue party he makes changes to the DLL the hash value will not be the same right so you're not supposed to use it where does it use it uses it to gag right so to gag it so what is gag gag is you know global access storage or, but that is GSE cache. global access cache okay so it's global access cache so what it basically is is a uh, place on the win on on your on the windows uh, machine whereby some dlls can be kept and everybody can use them so for uh, your assembly to go into gag it has to be strongly signed because you know it, it can be it is used by everybody right so it's kind of um, that's that's the basic requirement now if you look at gag it's just a folder right it's just a folder under windows 
and it's assembly you see it's gag so you, you see a bunch of dlls <coughs> a bunch of folders under gag under assembly it's gag gag32 gag msil and some other things so what these folders are is the gag is you know for um, for clr version 1.0 assemblies the gag msil is for 2.0 and 32 bit is assembly that only can be run on 32 bit or you know on wow mode on 64 bit so if you go under any of these assemblies get let's go under gag msil right and if i do a dir you'll see a bunch of other folders right what happens is for each every time a assembly is added to gag it creates a folder for it right so let's actually go to one of these uh, folders so let's go to, let's say to the you know our, our good old system folder right so you go to system and if you do a dir you'll see you know what okay you'll see a version so this is the version 2.0 and you'll see the public key token so what it means is the same assembly can be placed in the gag with a different version or a public different public key token right so you can have both system 3.0 and 2.0 version assemblies in the gag so if there is a program that is using 2.0 it will use 2.0 if there is a program using 3.0 it is use 3.0 right now if you go to the folder exact the 2.0 folder and if you do a dir you'll see the actual dll that's pretty much it okay so having understood you know so having understood this right what is there in a strong name it's the text it's the name of the assembly it's the version of the number of the assembly it's the culture code of the assembly for example let's say you have a uh, resources for french right so you might have a french version of your assembly typically it's always good to have a code on to one in compile into one dll that is culture neutral and then you can have these you know french and you know etc etc and they can be loaded at a run time satellite right? assembly satellite assembly so those are satellite assemblies right. so having talked about gag and strong sign so we know why they are tamper resistant because you know once you change something the hash value will be different and it will no longer compile so tricky thing is so let's let's before talking about anything else let's look at two assemblies that two, two different assemblies one have one that has been strong designed one that i've been not so what i've done here is in this file i have created a key my key.dll using the sn sn utility strong name sn is in stands for strong name and i've compiled the program using that key okay and i've said it you know what compile it using that key so let's look at the ialdism for these two programs so one is our previous good old program that we just used which was not compiled uh, using any key so if you see here the assembly manifest just contains the version right it does not contain anything else but now if you look at this particular program that has been compiled with okay so i have, I have to open it let me open it so let me open this particular uh exe if you see the manifest of this exe it contains the public key that's the public key you know it's the 128 bit information for for simplicity gag you know will have for simplicity it also has this thing is come again has to an 8 bit value that you can use and refer you know just so that you don't have to store this 128 bit in your particular uh, assembly manifest you know all the time but uh, microsoft will always consider the complete public key token so this is just for simplicity sake you know in the gag and all that you see token but it will always because multiple public keys can hash to the same hash value that so that's the idea so that's so this is what you know this is what the additional information is what is contained here if you think about it so it once again same they gives the same what's the hash algorithm i think there is such something and it gives all this right 